Hello my friends, it is I, Infernal. Today I'm going to be talking about the Gold Source video games. Yes, I know I said the next review would be Half-Life, but I'm going to postpone that if that's okay. I just don't feel like we're playing Half-Life just yet. So you know what, I've decided to review the Half-Life Platinum Pack, which is a shit ton of Gold Source games all in one package. There might even be some titles here that you might recognize, but didn't know that this is where it came from. So let's just begin. Let's start with the classic, Half-Life. Half-Life was the first Gold Source game to release, and definitely not the last. Half-Life's story goes like this. Spoilers, by the way. Your scientist, called Gordon Freeman, a theoretical physicist who works at Black Mesa, which is a giant freaking lab in the middle of New Mexico. Today, you're helping an experiment. That experiment goes wrong, all hells break loose, and aliens start teleporting everywhere around Black Mesa. You know, just a normal day in the job. So the military come to help, and when I mean help, I mean kill everybody and everything because, you know, basically the entire game is about shit hitting the fan. Of course, there are all kinds of different weapons along the way. These include an MP5 SD, a Spaz 12 shotgun, and a crowbar. Because, you know. Opposing forces expansion for Half-Life that came out one year later in 1999. Opposing force put you in the shoes of Adrian Shepard, a corporal who was sent to go investigate Black Mesa. Yes, that's right, you are literally the opposing force. On your way there, your plane crashes, and you wake up like a day later. So now you're just trying to find your way out of Black Mesa. The Marines pull out without you, so now you're on your own, and you have to find a way out. Also, you get many new weapons on your way. So, instead of a revolver, you get a Desert Eagle. You also get a sniper rifle and a saw. No, not a chainsaw. I'm talking about this thing. Team Fortress Classic is Team Fortress 1. I know, mind blown. Team Fortress Classic is pretty much just Team Fortress 2 in the Gold Source engine. Some classes are weaker, some are stronger, but other than that, it's the same game. But wouldn't that make Team Fortress 2 Team Fortress Source? But hold on! Team Fortress Classic is actually a remake of a Quake mod called Team Fortress. So wouldn't that make Team Fortress Classic Team Fortress Gold Source? Boy! Team Fort is actually based off a custom Doom mod. So wouldn't that make Team Fortress Team Fortress Quake? Alright, enough of that. Counter Strike is Team Fortress 2, but on expert realism. Okay, it's Die Hard. Still don't know what I mean? Alright, basically, there are these terrorists, and counter-terrorists. The terrorist job depends on what the map is. On some maps, there are these hostages that need to be saved by the counter-terrorists. On other maps, the terrorist needs to plant a bomb and let it explode. And the counter-terrorists need to defuse the bomb before it blows up. Or one way that the round ends if one team gets wiped out completely. It's also like real life. You can die at one or three hits. Unlike Team Fortress 2, nothing is cartoonish and everything is realistic. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching and- Hold on. There's just one I'm forgetting about. Blue Shift is the second expansion that was made for Half-Life, and instead of expanding and adding new weapons and enemies like what Opposing Force did, Blue Shift literally did the exact opposite of that. Instead of adding new weapons, you don't even get half the weapons that Gordon got! The only new thing you get is a shitty HD pack that people hate. Now, some people have lied to themselves and tried to say that Blue Shift is a good expansion. One of these people is someone that I watch, called G-Man Lives. He said that Blue Shift was a good and underrated expansion. And what I have to say is, open your eyes, not your ass, you nitwit. Okay, I'm sorry, G-Man, if that hurt, but this is still a really bad expansion. Opposing Force had a whole new alien race. Blue Shift has half of an alien race. The only good thing about Blue Shift is the combat sections. Those parts are really fun, and all the noise in the background really makes it seem like a war is going on. But besides from all that, Blue Shift is the third worst Half-Life game, right next to Half-Life Source. Well, at least with the HD pack, they fixed the barrel on the revolver. Now it doesn't look like a cartoon anymore. 